All right, guys, so you're tuning in to see, uh, I don't know, what's in a Predator fan's collection. Well, it could be just about anything, because I'm a huge Predator fan. Um, I'm going to do a top ten here, so this is my top ten Predator items. So not, so it's not secluded to just figures and stuff like that. It's kind of an all-around Predators, everything. And I have over... I, if I had to say over 140, 100 something, 150 items of Predator because I'm a huge Predator fan. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was my hero back in the day when I was a kid. So, you know, being an 80s kid, uh, Predator was the greatest thing ever. So, anyways, let's get this thing uh, going. I'm going to kind of tune the camera down a little bit so you can see and get used to seeing that chair because this is the best place I got to record this stuff. So, uh, until I get a little bit better spot this is it all right so for the number 10 item it's the 1995 Kenner ultimate predator and I love this thing I've opened it it's, I don't have the box anymore uh, but it's great uh, here it is so what you're seeing here is like a 12 inch model vinyl uh, toy of predator and uh, it's just very uh, detailed the face is very nice, um, you know, and it's, this is made like a toy, so, you know, it's, a you know, very handleable, you can move it around, it can fall off your shelf, it's not going to break, it's very durable, uh, and it looks great, uh, on my shelf, actually, um, guns detailed, I mean, it's just detailed for 1995 Kenner, so, you know, they, they did the first, I don't know, first set of Predator toys, in the 80s and up to the early 90s and then they stopped making them but uh, obviously this was one of the cooler this one was the ultimate predator so uh, if you don't have that in your collection get it uh, you probably find it pretty cheap on eBay uh, brand new in a box maybe for 20 bucks so you have to get this thing it's great I, I like I said it looks great with any collection it's 12 inch why not it's it's awesome okay Next, we have a Toys R Us exclusive. I got some dust on this. There we go. Uh, Mini Mates, Toys R Us, Extraction Dutch, and then you've got the Battle Damage Predator. These are like little Lego figures, but uh, not Lego. They're Mini Mates. Um, very cool. Diamond Select Toys, I think. Yeah, these are great. Uh, these were limited edition. You could only get one of these in a box. Uh, so. Uh, I think there's a box of like eight packs in each, something like that. So this was kind of rare to find, especially at Toys R Us. Uh, people seen these, they just bought them up. And so I'm lucky to have one. I probably never, ever open that thing. I just like to look at them for some reason. They're great. You're probably thinking, uh, what's next on this grand tour? Uh, next we have the NES Predator 2. I love this figure. I couldn't uh, help but not buy it. Um, it's great. Um, I don't have to open it to see the figure. I mean, it's great. It's made in a nice NES look style box. The paintwork is uh, it's great. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, it's one of my favorite ones to look at. Um, it's got a couple little little skull treasure trophy thing here, and then you got the little discs and your staff, and it's uh, it's really awesome painted. NECA has done a great job with these figures, and this was one that, I mean, I had to have, regardless of price. So, very cool. And then, uh, you know, this isn't even half the collection here. We're doing just the top. So that was number seven, I think, right? Ten, nine, eight. No, that was number eight. Okay, so number seven is actually practical. I know it's like, well, how do you find a Predator thing that's practical? All right simple it is a coin bank yeah, I have change in it I store all my change uh, just very cool to look at on a shelf I couldn't ask for a better bank it's detailed all the way to a T um, I just really enjoy this like I said it sits on my shelf and you get a good look at it sitting like that it displays very nice and you can put money in it, so uh, you're saving up for a trip, uh, whatever it might be. Uh, 
whatever you're saving for. I don't know. I save it for my son. He enjoys the change. And sometimes he spends it. Sometimes he just enjoys counting it. Okay. So that's a very practical Predator item. You can use that every day. You go to the store, you buy some more Predator stuff, you bring your change home, you throw it in the back of that. Alright. So this would be number six on the top ten list. This was a Hot Topic exclusive P.O.P. Um, I have like three P.O.P. Predators, but this one's my favorite one. It's the Hot Topic exclusive. Uh, so it's clear, so it's kind of hard to see it. Very clear. Uh, like a clear plastic vinyl, vinyl figure. Uh, it's all the way see-through. Uh, it's very well displayed box. Um, if you're collecting P.O.P.'s, this is one of the better ones, so, you know, exclusives, obviously. But, uh, I like this one a lot. It sits great on my shelf. And the number, where are we at? Number five? Let's see. We've got ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Yeah, we're at five. Five's going to be really cool. It is a lunchbox. That's right. Lunchbox. Uh, you can take this and... Fill it with peanut butter sandwiches. Uh, I preferably would not ever use it um, because it's collectible value. But uh, just enjoy the, the fact that it's a lunchbox. And with all lunchboxes, the best part is the thermos style thermos. Obviously, you can see I don't play with it too much. And you got uh, you know cup. Put your made or soup in it, uh, whatever you want. It's very cool. Predator thermos um, and lunchbox, so it's kind of like a combo deal here. We did uh, for that combo, but uh, both sides are really cool. I like this side more. I leave that side out just because of the detail. The other side is the masked version, and uh, just thought I had to be in the top ten. You know, lunchboxes were cool back in the 70s, and uh, I think they're coming back. Uh, so, and now we're going to get down to another great collectible by NECA. This was one of the, I think this was the first figure I got of NECA's, so this is what made me fall in love with them. It's the NES Predator version of Predator from the NES game. So, it looks like the video game cover, pretty much. You open it up, and there's the really cool blue figure. Very nice painted. Very cool. I thoroughly enjoy this one as well. Uh, probably never open it. There's never to it because I can see it and display it the same if I opened it, so I just don't. I think it's great in here. Um, the back's pretty cool. It's like the video game. Tells you about the detail, and NECA does an absolute fantastic job on these figures. I have probably 30 and I enjoy every dang one of them. They can keep making them all day long. I'll keep buying them. They're great. And uh, thanks again, NECA, for, you know, all the cool stuff. Then we got here, Predator. Dark Horse Comics version. This is another NECA toy. Um, it's not coming out of the box. No way. This one is detailed to the T. Uh, you actually get the replica comic book of the first comic book that this was featured in and so you can see the display the display door here is pretty cool and there's no reason for me to take it out of the box I can see everything in there it's great um, it's kind of shiny a little bit can't hardly see the figure maybe we can but uh, it's beautifully painted uh, probably I don't know I, it's top top 10 so obviously I love it and uh, Probably never open it or never sell. Okay. So now you're starting to see the uh, meat and bones of the collection, I guess. Um, this is the newest NECA Predator, one of the newest ones. Um, this one does everything. It's the Scar Scar Predator. I haven't opened him yet. I eventually probably will open him, and I'll do the uh, video of that soon. Um, basically, he is beautiful. I mean, the best of the AVP predators the detail on the eyes the detail on the face the fact that his arm uh, doohickey opens up and you can see the little symbols 
I mean, it is top notch. Um, I reckon they're going to do better, but I don't see how. I mean, this is great. I can't wait to take this out of the box and just look at all the little articulate details to this thing. Uh, there's actually three in this series. Um, this is the only one I have from the series. There's the chopper one, and then uh, I can't remember what the other one was. But uh, either way, they're cool. And uh, definitely going to open this, this guy and do a video with that one soon. Not today. Alright, so you've seen the uh, the top nine, obviously. And uh, the top one, this is number one. I couldn't ask for a better item. It's practical. I wear it all the time. Um, I have two of them. I bought two of these. One to wear, one to display. And uh, this is the reason why. If you're a Predator fan, uh, you missed out on this one if you didn't get the Wizard Comic Con box. Uh, I think it was either September or October, way back, a couple months ago. But it is a t-shirt. And it's in the style of Guns N' Roses, so I love, I love it. It's absolutely amazing. And it's, uh, it says Guns and Muscles. It's got the Predator here in the middle. See? And it's got the other guys from the movie. And then down at the bottom, it says Welcome to the Jungle. And it's Guns N' Roses style, so it's just an awesome looking shirt. And then down here at the bottom, you can tell, it's a Comic-Con box exclusive. So you can't just go run to your FYE and buy that sucker. And uh, I don't know what they're selling for on eBay, but uh, probably $30, $40 range. Maybe $60 as much, I don't know. Either way, you have to have this if you're a Predator fan. It's an everyday kind of thing. You can wear it out. Uh, you go to the Comic-Cons. Whatever you do, Predator-wise. Best shirt I've owned. I own it all. I'm telling you. And then since I did a top 10, I thought I'd do a little bonus for your collectability. Um, I just recently started doing it. Just every time I go anywhere to a thrift store or whatever, I just uh, start collecting these. Predator VHS. And so, you know, they... Obviously, I don't watch them. I have seen the movie a million times. But they still look really cool in my collection. And I consider them to be in the top 20s. Because there's so many different variations of videotapes out there. Um, like I said, this one's different. Different top. Different video. You know. And so I started collecting those. I just wanted to share that with you that you can actually collect uh, other stuff of Predator. And uh, I'd like to find the laser disc. If I find the laser disc, it'd be a great day. But either way, I hope you enjoyed my top 10. And uh, now that I got these off the shelf, I'm going to dust them, clean them up real good, put them back, and enjoy them some more. I hope you appreciated my video, and uh, you guys have a great day.